All right, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I grew my arms by 2.5 inches in four months by using these three insights. Now, throughout this video, I want you to think about this quote. The greatest shortcoming of the human race is our inability to understand the exponential function by Albert Allen Berlin. So I started off fat. This is why this video is going to be a little bit different from the usual because a ton of people start off skinny when they make these kind of videos. But when you're fat, <laughs> your arms already look big. But let me tell you this, they're not big. The fat around my arms was basically like a facade, like a mask. But if I squeeze my bicep back then, then I would feel this much muscle, <laughs> all right, this much. And it became even more evident when this one time I went to the gym with my cousin and I barely could lift up a five pound dumbbell, okay? My muscles were small and I was very weak. But after that moment, I actually wanted to start training. And once again, I still barely could lift like a five pound dumbbell, but that didn't stop me. I was too determined. And that determination allowed me to form this workout routine to grow massive arms in such little time. And this is what I want to talk about inside that little quote. Understand the exponential function. The exponential function is exponential growth. If you have ever heard that inside of your life, then you know it's basically like skyrocket progress. But if you haven't heard it, let me explain it to you in a very, very simple way. So imagine that this is time and this is muscle. At the beginning, you won't see a lot of progress. But then out of nowhere, it just skyrockets. And then boom, massive arms. And we basically want to unlock that exponential point so that you can see massive arms in a very small amount of time. Let's talk about training. So I'm about to talk about the workouts that I do. Now you can customize your workouts. This is not set in stone. This is not the greatest workout routine ever, anything like that. You can look up different workouts to train whatever muscle and whatever one that you like the most and replace these workouts with that workout let's talk about bicep we will be doing curls and i believe that's the only workout you can actually do to train the bicep now there's different ways you can use but i believe that's the only way to train the bicep so we're going to do curls with medium weight medium weight means weight that will allow you to do 12 to 15 reps until you can't do it anymore or you until you reach failure. Now let's talk about the form. The form is very, very simple. You stand up, you have your arms flat to your side, so it goes straight up and down. And then while the dumbbell's inside of your hand, lift your fingers up to your shoulder height. So it'll be, be like this. And then drop the weight down slowly. And throughout the whole motion, keep your elbows still that's the major part that people mess up i've been seeing people lift so my weightlifting class in school and they be lifting or curling like this <laughs> what is this they, that ain't go train the bicep by the way let's go train something else but it ain't the bicep keep elbows still to train bicep effectively now why specifically 12 to 15 reps well when you do more reps, you get to train the form. And when you get to train the form, you get to train the muscle more effectively. Truly, the range is 8 to 30 reps for the most effective muscle activation. But who the heck want to do 30 reps? Not me. And some people like to do 8 reps, but I feel like that's just too little. So 12 to 15 is a nice range. Now, why do we have to go to failure? Well, Failure rips the muscle most effectively. And when we rip the mo muscle very effectively, it has a lot of muscle activation. When we get to recover, our muscle become bigger and stronger. Now let's move on to triceps. Triceps is a lot of workouts you can do. But for this example, we're gonna do overhead extensions since we already have dumbbells. So we want to do overhead extensions with medium weight. Now, this weight 
we want to be inside the range of 12 to 15 till failure because this is a smaller muscle. <laughs> All right. Now the form of this workout is pretty interesting and people unintentionally mess it up. So usually people do overhead extensions with both of their arms. But when you do overhead extensions with both of your arms, your arms are basically locked when it gets to the top. But we want full motion. So instead we're gonna do one arm at a time. So lift up your arm, have the dumbbell inside of your hand, of course, and then move the, dumb, the dumbbell behind your head. Now your arm should look something like that, and we want to keep it like that. Now we're going to lift up the dumbbell, and then drop it back down, very slowly. And throughout the whole motion, keep this arm and the elbow still. <laughs> None of this stuff, okay? None of this. This stuff right here. Or let's move on to the last part of the arms, which is the shoulder, shoulders. Now there's actually three parts of the shoulders. You have the front, you have the side, and then you have the back. But for our workout, we're training the side because when you train the side muscle, the arm looks bigger. And when you also train your side shoulder muscle, you will look big, bigger because you have this V shape. All right. So, side dose, that's the scientific name, you don't even have to think about that. To train these muscles, we want to do lateral raises with light weight. Basically weight that will allow us to do 12 to 15 reps without reaching to failure. Because for this small muscle, we don't, we don't have to reach failure. But if you want to, then go ahead and do it. First, we need to stand up straight. I'm actually gonna stand up for this example. So first, we want to stand up straight, and then we want to slightly bend over. So stand up straight, slightly bend over, and also slightly bend your knee. And lastly, slightly bend your elbows. So the weight is going to be in both of your, your hands. After that, we want to lift up our arms until they're parallel to our shoulders and then slowly drop it back down do that over and over again that whole motion don't move your body we're only lifting up our arms and dropping them back down now we did miss one part of the arms the forearms we actually don't have to train for the forearms since when we tightly grip any weight that is training the forearms so while we're curling, we're training the forearms. While we're doing our lateral raises, we're doing our forearms. While we're doing our overhead extension, we're doing our forearms. But if you want to intentionally train your forearms, just do this movement and do this movement. All right? Both movements, train your forearms. Now let's talk about our workout split. Our workout split is actually really simple. Train five to seven times per week <laughs> and then do arms every single time with that planned workout you were, you were going to do that day. Now, some people might be thinking, isn't that overtraining? No, because overtraining is the imbalance of exercise and recovery. And unless if you're training 18 hours straight and skipping sleep or just getting five to six hours of sleep, you're not overtraining, okay? And also, training a muscle every single day rips it more frequently. And when it rips more frequently, the recovery needs to work more effectively. And when the recovery works more effectively, our arms get bigger, or the muscle get bigger, and it gets stronger. Now, we need to talk about diets. Because without a good diet, then the stuff that we just talked about is useless. And personally, when I was previously fat, I thought I was supposed to cut down on my eating that I can lose weight. But it's stupid since muscle requires protein, requires a lot of protein. And the only way to get protein is by eating. So instead, I changed up my diet. I changed up how I eat. I still ate normally. I still ate whole foods for my 
couldn't eat. But instead, I ate at maintenance. Maintenance basically means the amount of food you need to eat to not change your weight. Okay? I ate at maintenance. And I ate mostly protein. So I would drink milk. I would eat well. I drink milk. I eat if I eat eggs. I eat salmon. I eat meat and other protein sources that are whole and not junk foods like a protein bar or protein chocolate milk. They have protein, but that protein is so unaffected. Okay. And while I'm eating these proteins, I'm also training really, really hard. Okay. Full body every single day. And the goal of a body recomposition is to build muscle and burn fat at the same time. And that's exactly how you do it. But now if I was skinny, of course I would bulk. And while bulking, I would still eat whole foods. And the little cheat code, if I was skinny, to bulk up without feeling very sick and very, very tired of eating and chewing would be milk, okay? Milk is amazing. So just get some milk, get like a half gallon of milk every single day and drink it. That's what I do right now. So yeah, if you apply all of these, if you apply our training, if you apply the split and if you apply the diet, then you will be able to grow your arms 2.5 inches or more in four months. So if you like this video, check out another video. It should be in either one of these corners and always be resilient. Peace out.